Hi, this is Jeff with IDB. Today we're going to talk about Fast Copy, which is a new tweak available on the Cydia store. And essentially what Fast Copy allows you to do, or what its claim to fame is, is that it allows you to copy and paste or do anything with the editing menu in a snappier fashion. That's because it eliminates the delay between pressing a edit menu function and the edit menu function actually taking place. Um, what the developer notes is that this is actually just a delay. So this tweak removes that delay, making the copy and pasting or any action that you're performing feel snappier. So we want to test that out to see, make sure it actually works. So what I've done is I've installed this tweak and I've created a new note. And what I'm going to do now is test this out, uh, test out copying and pasting without this uh, tweak enabled. So I've disabled the tweak and now I'm going to test it without it being enabled. All right, so I'm going to just try to copy this, this word here, iPhone download blog. So I'm going to select all that. Now I'm going to copy it. Okay, so I copied it. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste that iPhone download blog. So I'll hit it and I'll hit the paste button. And as you can see, it, it copied it and pasted it pretty fast, but there was a slight delay as you notice. I'm going to try it again. I'll hit paste and notice the slight delay. Okay, see it highlights the uh, paste button and there is a just a minute delay. Okay, so this tweak claims to get rid of that delay. So let's actually test this out and make sure it works. Now that the tweak has been re-enabled, um, I'll go ahead and try copying and pasting again. So let's copy this text here. Copy it. And then I'll paste it. Look how snappy that is. There's no delay whatsoever between hitting the paste button and the text being pasted on the actual document. Look at that. So that does um, make copying and pasting much snappier. Uh, so fast copy does indeed work, and it is a, a tweak that I would recommend that you use, especially if you use the editing functions on your iPhone a lot. This is Jeff with IDB.